My name is Pat Hart and I am a mentoring volunteer with the group Inspire to Aspire. We are mentors at Beverly Intermediate School this year. Currently we are mentoring sixth grade boys. Uh, we have been asked to add uh, sixth grade girls to our uh, schedule and we're in the process of trying to make that happen. We try to uh, address the whole board. So we talk about self-esteem, we talk about uh, forming good self-images, we talk about role models, we try to help them to uh, deal with anger management, uh, we talk about conflict resolution, and we also uh, talk about life goals and, and trying to help them live their best life. This is our community and they are our future. And it's left up to us to try to help mold them into to being the best possible future leaders of this community that we can. We've seen just in, in our mentoring the difference in how it's managed to make the kids, all of the kids in the, in the, the city, schools on a more even keel. Everybody's excited about it. We are the ones that are gonna to have to inspire them to, to continue to, to, to thrive and, and to progress and want to progress. In the four to five years that we have been mentoring, we have been truly blessed to be able to mentor to these young boys. We get just as much out of it as they do. It's something that you've got to have a passion for. And we do, we have a passion for our young people and especially our young men because we realize that they are the future, they're the leaders. We have to be able to be there to, to shape them into what we, what we would like our new leaders to be. My role is to serve as a mentor that is uh, providing classroom instruction for the uh, young kids from the 5th, 6th grade board. After I retired, I wanted to do something with my time and I got to talk to Mrs. Hart and uh, Mr. Hart and they convinced me to come along with them on this devil here. And it's the best train ride I had in a while was being able to give something back to the kids. We had a young boy who came to the class who said that, I'm not gonna change. My mama told me not to change. I don't have to change to be with anybody. And so Mrs. Hart still was telling him to leave the room. She said, okay, baby, that's okay. You just sit down and listen to us and uh, we'll see about that. And so he wouldn't answer questions. He wouldn't uh, participate in class. And so uh, the next week he came in, same attitude. Somehow or another, he made a transition. He started seeing other boys participate. He, see how, he saw how they were enjoying it. And Miss Pat started calling on him. And the next thing you know, he changed his tune. He came in and pronounced one day, look, I have changed, Miss Pat. I'm going to be the smarter kid in the class. And you know what? He started to, to get better day after day after day. And one day he came in, he had on his bow tie, and he was clean. And he changed. His attitude changed. And that showed me that a kid in the right environment with the right instruction with the right people behind him can change. They don't have to be a product of their environment. I'm a living example of being a product of a bad environment. You don't have to be that way to change. When you give back to the students, you, know, you have to be the change that you see. You come out to the school and you give yourself. And I'm a living example of that. Somebody, or a mentor to me, the Upward Bound program in the 70s, I had mentors. And it wasn't for that particular program in itself I never would have finished high school because of those mentors who was in their 20s. I was a teenager, but they were older to me. But they mentored me and got me on that, that, that lane to get out of Macon, Georgia. And I had to give something back to these kids because these kids are just like I was. In their mind, the way their actions and everything, they just want somebody to, to, to care for them, to be there for them. And I, and, I, and I don't think I want to just give something, just one child, two kids. I'm, I'm not going to stop at one. I'm going to go for all of them to be the best that they can be. Because somebody helped me. I would tell the community that if you're not doing anything and you want to do something for the community, be the change that you speak about. Be that change that you tell the kids you want them to do. You want them to be smart, tell them they're smart. You want them to be involved, you get involved. Be an example. Be the best example that you can be.